In this quick tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about using Toast to make multiple copies of your DVD that you just authored with DVD Studio Pro. I've already opened the Toast application, and what I want to do once Toast opens is I want to actually click on the Data tab. A lot of people make the mistake of clicking on the Video tab and then trying to add the audio and video underscore TS folders. Remember, DVD Studio Pro has already converted the QuickTime or DV files to MPEG-2 for you. So you do not need Toast to convert the files to MPEG-2 and create the audio and video underscore TS folders. So let's click on the Data tab, and we're going to choose DVD-ROM, which is compatible with both Mac and PC computers. This DVD will also work in consumer DVD players. Now that we've selected DVD-ROM, let's come down here and choose New Disk. Notice it says My Disk. If we'd like to name that, we can double click on it and we can give it a name. I'm just gonna call it My Movie and click OK. Now we need to add the video and underscore TS folders. We'll click on the Add button. Let's go to the hard drive where our project is sitting and let's go to the DVD folder and we're going to shift select both of these folders and click choose. And you can see that we now have the audio underscore TS and the video underscore TS folders in the outside of the directory so that this disc will work inside of a consumer DVD player. If we would like to make a hybrid disc that we could say include the QuickTime and the uh, DVD files on, what we do is click on add and we could go add the QuickTime movie. So there's our QuickTime, which could play on a computer through the QuickTime player. And here are the folders that will allow a consumer DVD player to read and play back our DVD on a consumer player. All right, so once we're done, all we have to do is click on record. And this is a really great feature of Toast. Notice we can tell it how many numbers of copies that we would like. If we put in 20 copies and click record, it's going to ask us for a disk, and once it's finished burning the first disk, it will open the tray and ask us to insert a new blank until all 20 copies have been made. All right, I'm going to click Cancel, and I'm going to conclude this quick tutorial on using Toast to make copies of your DVD project that you created with DVD Studio Pro.